This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Good afternoon, traders, and welcome back. I'm Scott Norse here with today's Forex Report. It is Monday, April 9, 2007. We begin the week on thin volume as many countries in Europe and around the world extended Easter weekend. The market was very quiet overnight, and we only saw some real movement in the latter part of U.S. trading today. The greenback added to Friday's gains, which came on the back of a strong March employment report. Futures traders have now paired bets on an August Fed rate cut from 100% down to just a 20% chance in the last few weeks. This bodes well for the dollar in the short term, but bulls will still have to keep their fingers crossed in hopes of further optimistic data. There is very little on the calendar this week, with any important U.S. economic releases coming out on Friday morning. However, in the meantime, the IMF will release its semi-annual report on Wednesday, which could add some volatility and movement to the Forex market. Technically, the euro still appears to be one of the strongest currencies, along with Aussie and Kiwi. The franc continues to fall versus the euro, regardless of the dollar's direction on Europe's strong fundamentals and yield advantage. The yen remains the weakest of the majors, but economists and strategists alike have continued to warn about becoming complacent again with extended carry trades. The pound sterling has really fallen out of favor after the BOE left rates unchanged last week, opening the door to the possibility that a hike may not come at all in coming months. We, of course, are still expecting one more increase at this time. Last but not least, the Canadian dollar is holding up well after several reports in the last two weeks have suggested the BOC is more likely to be forced to hike rates rather than cut. We could still see the dollar CAD move lower as this view becomes more popular. Overall, this paints a very mixed picture for the buck and we stress that traders be cautious to evaluate each pair individually and should not count on broad dollar strength or weakness at the moment. Perhaps Wednesday's report or next weekend's G7 meeting will bring the market more consistency. Until then, have a great night trading and take care.